So basically all I did, I already did it. I didn't take the video because these are my first ones. And I'm just, I think maybe like if I want this footage later, I just decided to take a video afterwards. So he's like a reusable coffee strainer and poured my mixture of um, five to one ratio uh, beeswax to Damar. Uh, strained it over here. It got like some gross stuff out. Um, I tried adding this pigment to the blue, but it's not working with the wax. I know there's special pigment powders you can get. Maybe I'll look into that. Maybe I just won't use pigment at first. This is the color it comes out to naturally. And the sediment's all at the bottom. And I'll pop it out and melt it. Scrape that off. These are just a dollar at dollar store. Like, they're for ornaments, like stuffing them with candy. But ideally, I'd like to use glass, but until I find the right one. That's all I did, and that's just today's step. So, I finally got my encaustic ready. I'm really excited. Uh, first, I did the 1 to 5 ratio that I showed you before, and then I just, after it hardened and I scraped off the sediment, I did another 1 to 3 ratio, um, adding more demar gum. So, it's really, it's like a lot more solid. I can still shove my nails in it, but just don't do that if you get one of these organized. Um, so, the first step, you might have to come closer. The first step um, I'm doing is just to put one layer of the wax on the bottom because um, I'm going to be mixing metal in with it and I don't want any of the metal protruding um, just because that's going to take away any, like, you know, when you short a wire. Um, so I'm just doing like a quick layer and then I'm using these little guys. Um, it's just a half of a necklace pendant that you would put around a crystal. We are extremely crystal blessed. So all of these are quartz from Tresco, the Marion Seed Crystals, they're called. And that's what I'm putting in my organite for the piezoelectric qualities of quartz under pressure. Some of this stuff you're gonna have to research yourself because it would be quite a quite an episode. Um, so then, luckily the silicone's pretty durable and I can just like use my torch. I don't know if I necessarily recommend that. Um, I'm clumsy now. Okay, so setting these guys down in there. These are lollipop molds. But because I'm just practicing, I don't want to waste a lot of resin, and I don't want to waste a lot of crystals or metals, like really any of my resources. I want to be able to get the like schematics, I don't know, the mechanics, the whatever you want to call it that makes these things work. I want to get that set before I start using a bunch of my, because this is all beeswax, although I just got a beeswax guy today. We got a guy. And <laughs> so... No more buying beeswax from the store. It's gonna come straight from his bee farm. Okay, and then I'll put this one in here. And that's just a first step. I'm gonna get a few other things together and then make, uh, continue this video with a little bit more organization. Um, but I figured out how I wanna do it now. So this is, this is the first step. Okay, <laughs> hi. Uh, and welcome to the weighing portion and the other portions. I'm going to try to make this one video if possible. Um, all right, so first put on a tire that you don't mind getting messy. Um, so this is the weighing process. Uh, Wilhelm Reich. Wilhelm? Will, is that Wilhelm? Wilhelm Reich. Reich. Mm -hmm. Dr. Reich. Um, his original research used 50% organic resin. It was a plant-based resin with... Uh, fiberglass on the outside, which is what is different about the organite I'm trying to make is that instead of using a fiberglass resin, which I believe to be misinformation, I'm using beeswax, um, which is what the original research used. Um, however, he had organ generators with no control um, over the DOR, POR, what they were creating. Um, DOR is deadly um, and PR is positive. Uh, so it was with the the hand grenades it was 
I should know this guy's name. Oh, uh, Hans. Hans Solo. I don't know. What's his name? I don't know. Hans something. Uh, is the person who put quartz in there. And the piezoelectric qualities of quartz under pressure are what make it so that the more recent organ generators create positive um, POR instead of just amplifying either DOR or POR. So that is what I'm trying to do here. So I start by weighing the 50-50 ratio. Um, so it's like 5.79, I'm gonna just do 5.75 or whatever, I'll do 5.79 again. Um, and this is brass shavings, small shavings, uh, because the surface area of the brass is what's gonna hopefully be activated. Just a little piece of dust in there. Okay, so whatever. It's kind of hard to weigh this stuff. It's pretty heavy, which is a good thing. All right, so I'm gonna put that in with my resin. I'm gonna do a dash extra because I used a little bit of that um, there. So, and then I have that for two of these. I forgot, I got more stuff to do. So this one's like 4.7.2. Seven point three two. That's good enough. So what I want to do is melt these together. I've just been using the. This is a mold, but it works. I put the metal in first, um, and then on top I'll put in the wax. And then I've just been using a torch, which is of course somewhere. <laughs> Everything somewhere. Um. Okay. So. This is kind of a process that I might either fast forward through in video editing or else, who knows, maybe pause the video. Yeah, which would you rather do besides mute this portion? Okay, so is it on? Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the, the mixture. Uh, I'm gonna start because I know I want all of this metal in there and I know I'm gonna add some extra beeswax I want to get that metal in there. So these ones I'm making for me and daddy <laughs> um, And so I made them uh, What it, like I said before what's important that's in there is the quartz quartz under pressure um, Has what's called piezo or piezoelectric qualities uh, and that polarizes the the organ generator and so that's what's helping us make those like negative positive ions um, it's helping us create negative ions which are the good ones uh, to create POR um, so once again if you want to do any back research on that it might be easier than me telling you okay so I got all the metal in there and so anyways with me and daddy's what I did was I put the quartz first, excuse me, um, and I have a cluster of the Lumerian seed crystals, and I took the two um, and put one piece of the cluster in his and one in mine, so that's a quartz, and I also put a small Herkimer diamond in each of ours because Daddy's got a Herkimer diamond mine, and... I mean, we fell in love all over the place, but we definitely fell in love there, too. How could you not? And literally is paradise. Um, so that's just like our little symbolism and our thing. Um, and then I put in a piece of bloodstone because baby Grayson is born on March 7th. This is due date. So his birthstone is bloodstone and I put a piece of bloodstone in there too so the little trilogy the trio um, of those three stones are meaningful for us but obviously you can do whatever stones are meaningful for you or if you want one of these made that's always an option hit me up um, and I can do it personally for you whatever you want whatever you need or I can just make you one that works and one that's strong because I really like, if you haven't done research on these, I recommend checking it out 
I think it's really important. Um, it's a really important thing to be aware of, and I think it's a really important thing to gift people and to give people and to make and to trade and to sell and to give away for free and to put in the earth. I recommend if you're putting them in the earth, you use these ones as opposed to the plastic. Um, although I, when I'm making them for beauty, I, I put tons of crystals. I make pendants and stuff, and those are really good for that. But I think that these, I'm really excited. Obviously, I'm putting a lot of effort into making these. So that I'm going to let dry, and I'm going to mix together the my other mixture because I did one at a time to keep my ratios right. And I'm gonna mix that together, and I'm gonna make daddies. Oh yeah, and my little Herkimer had a little, little uh, piggyback, little teeny gem on there. It's like my little Biba. Um, and so, yeah, I'm gonna get to mixing this, and I'm gonna come back when we open them. Woo! Yay! <laughs> All right, so here's another. I got that all melted up. I'm just scooping this all onto here because the metal, I want to make sure that obviously the wax will pour in and fit as it needs to. It's the metal that I need to... I'm going to grab these. Uh, you, we obviously are gung-ho about this. Um, <laughs> we've got a whole table set up. All our little tools took a lot of organization on my part. It just like shout out to me on the <laughs> putting everything in boxes and it just look organized, but this is quite a bit of stuff. All right, let me get my torch. So this one's daddy's. Um, where is the torch, honey? You were just using it. Where were you torching this? Okay, and so I'm gonna let them harden. They're already mostly hardened, so this is pretty, I'm pretty excited. Um, I'm used to making them with the resin and um, with the inorganic resin, and uh, so we wait in between layers, and like these, I'm literally gonna pop out. I mean, see, this first one might be ready to pop out. How about I do that, just because I'm ever excited. So, it's like, let's see, it's, And then I stick this, this is where I'm gonna put, I'm sure I'll do like a little bit of fine tuning off camera, but right there is where I'm going to lace it. I'm gonna cut any excess off. And here is a fully functioning, uh, technically in, in creative styling, it is a tower buster as a pendant. Um, I might add crystals at some point, melt them into the front so that they protrude. I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do yet. This is just the first step and this is the first full, ah, woo, I feel it already. Just have one of these, seriously, if you don't, maybe I'll do a video on just information about uh, Organite. But for right now, just don't Google it. I would go to like DuckDuckGo and ignore the first like couple pages and then really though get into like the research of Wilhelm Reich and then the more recent discoveries um if you're a fan of like Sigmund Freud any of those guys uh yeah 